These are in no particular order, right? But I know you're probably saying like, oh my God, you're doing this one. Hold on a second, hear me out. But these are in no particular order and I'm just gonna do palettes first and then I'm gonna move on to like single eye shadows and just like random shit that I have in my collection that I'm like, I, I, I don't know what to do with this. So big old disclaimer here, I am going to be donating and or giving this to friends and family. Some of this is already spoken for and some things are expired so I am going to immediately throw that out and then everything else, I'm gonna clean it up and either donate it to the shelter and or friends and family, so yes. The other ones, we're gonna throw at the neighbor's face. The expired makeup, yes, I am going to pelt my neighbors in the fucking face give with me, it. Give me some glam. Oh, glam all the way, bitch. Glam and a go fuck yourself. <laughs> Alex is going to be my beautiful assistant today. He's my Vanna White. Say hello to Alex. Oh, say hello, Alex, not hello to Alex. Okay. Hi, That's Alex. Not how this works. Put your hand in there. Hello, it's my <laughs> Okay, so please don't beg me in the comments. Oh, send this to me. Don't. Just don't. It's already spoken for. It's done. Everything's it's done. Over. I love yeah. you. I love your fucking face, but no. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> Good day, sir. You lose. Okay. So the first thing that I am going to be decluttering is the Smoke Sessions Milk Cosmetics Palette. And you're probably saying, oh my God, didn't you just get this? And I did. But this is the fucking destroyed totally one. fucked up one. So as you can see, this shit is fucking destroyed. But my friend uh, really wants it. And I don't know why, but my friend wants it. And I'm going to give it to her. So yeah. Why? I don't know. It's hideous. It's a hideous tread monster. I'm so glad that I fucking emailed them. It looks like a mouse to eat it up. <laughs> I mean... But now they look yeah. glam as fuck. <laughs> Next. All the mice and queens. <laughs> All right. The next one is this Urban Decay, uh, I guess, 20 Vice LTD Reloaded. I've had this for quite some time now. Pretty sure it's fucking expired. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It was all right. <laughs> Good story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have anything to say about this palette. I think I got it when it was on sale, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to check the expiration date on this, but I really think that this is completely expired, and I'll probably toss this out. So this little one here is actually from Makeup Geek, and I picked it up in Target. And I honestly, I don't even know why I did that. I think I just kind of got excited that Makeup Geek was in Target. Yeah, you got very excited when you saw it. <laughs> you saw the end cap and you're like, ooh, and you grabbed three things. I used it once. It's fine. But, I mean, I have these colors. So, and they're not amazing enough for me to want to keep them. They're very pretty. It's a really nice palette. I think this can have a better home with somebody else. So, I'm going to give this away. This palette is a piece of shit, and actually this is a new palette, technically. As you can see, it's pristine and has not been touched. I purchased this palette because I really, really, really thought I liked it, and then I discovered what good makeup is, and I realized that this is a piece of shit palette, but I did purchase this through Hot Look for like $12, and I never used it, and um, I'm gonna donate this <laughs> because the quality is really fucking awful. This is probably the worst yellow that I've ever used in my entire life. This is the reason why I'm on a quest for yellow. Between this and the yellow that's in the Natasha Denona palette. So thank you to this color, because otherwise I would have never discovered any sort of yellows in my life. But this is an awful fucking palette. Better than hell, honey buns. Just when you think it gets worse, this palette is somehow even worse than that fucking palette. This is the worst palette by Too Faced, in my own personal opinion. All these shades are not pigmented. I don't understand why this has such good reviews. This is hot fucking water trash. I hate this palette. This palette can go fuck itself. The next palette is actually from Japanese. Here's the thing. So I saw this palette for a while actually online. I was like, oh my God, I need to get this palette. I don't know why, but I just really need this palette. And then I got it and I was like, why did I get this palette? So I don't really understand why I purchased this. Probably other than this for this yellow and green. I like Japanese sponges and that's pretty much it. I just don't think their makeup is very good. And this palette is probably the perfect representation of how I feel about this whole makeup line in general. Not a fan. So yeah, it was. it's, it's a really cool concept, but this is a piece of shit. Next. The Morphe 9C Jewel Palette. You know, again, I was in Ulta and I got caught up and I was like, oh yeah, I totally need this palette. No, I literally have all these colors and more. You know, Morphe is really hit or miss and this one was okay, the quality of it, but I don't think it's necessarily really good to keep in my collection considering I have these colors in a better formula. This is a big old pass. Definitely not a hidden gem. No. Okay. That was the name of all the colors. So I have another Morphe palette, and this is the Second Nature 3502. I purchased this. Okay. That name just rolls off the tongue. 
That's all their palettes, literally. Really? All, yeah, they're That's all so called like because lovely. they're thirty-five shades. Congrats. <laughs> So this one is the 3502. The reason why I picked this up is because I wanted a different Morphe palette when I was in Ulta and they didn't have that one. And instead of just, you know, walking away like a normal person, I was like, fuck it, I need to buy something. I need this now. And then I purchased this and I used it maybe a handful of times and realized this is not as good as the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't even know why I had it, but it only cost me $23, so I wasn't too mad about it. But in hindsight, I realized I wasted $23, which, which could have went to something else. So fuck me. Anyway, um, I'm gonna clean this up and donate this. 80 chicken nuggets. You could have had You're telling me. As you guys know, I have like a really weird love-hate relationship with Dosa Colors, and this is actually the first palette that I picked up from Dosa Colors. As you can see, I actually stole the brush out of it, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the colors, one, have no pigmentation, it's very dusty. I don't understand what the hype is about this palette, but I found that anytime I used it, the colors would immediately disappear from my eyes, and there was a lot of fallout, and it's just, overall, I just don't think it was really good quality, so it actually really turned me off from the brand, until I tried that I Love Sarah E, or whatever the fuck that palette's called. Until that palette, this really turned me off from the brand. So with that said, I don't understand why I'm like letting this die in my collection when this can actually have a new home. So fuck it, you're done, you're out. Sorry, dose of colors. No brush for you. No brush for you. Okay, so the next one is the Urban Decay Nocturnal Shadow Box. Kind of much like the Vice palette. You know, I purchased it when I was on sale. It served its purpose for a little bit, but at the end of the day, it wasn't something that I was gravitating towards. Although I will admit that I did love the brush, that's why I'm taking it, so sorry. But the rest of it is kind of like, it's okay. Yeah, I don't know. And I think that's what I've been feeling lately with Urban Decay in general, is that it's just not good. It, I don't know what happened to their quality. I feel like they used to be really good and now it's real hit or miss, but it's more on the miss side. So this is definitely being decluttered from my collection. So the next one is actually the Chloe Morello, the fuck is this called? Pretty Fun and Fearless Ciate London Palette. I think Ciate is overrated. I don't like it. I don't think their eyeshadow quality is very good. This palette was not amazing at all. I actually don't even know if there are any positive reviews about this palette. Yeah. Uh, I don't want this. And... <laughs> <laughs> Of the paragraphs, just to be a, I don't want I just this. don't want it. <laughs> Sorry. So these are actually two Essence palettes that, funny story, I was supposed to do a video about it. This was so bad that I actually had an allergic reaction to. I don't know why I'm keeping it, so I'm definitely actually gonna probably just throw this out. This side fucking killed me. I don't know, there's something in this eyeshadows that really just ruined me. And I purchased, I'm with the band, and then spice up your life. I didn't even dare to even try this palette. And actually funny story is I got this for free because the girl at Ulta was stupid and didn't ring this up and she just put it in the bag. So technically this is a free palette. So I'm definitely donating this one, but this one I'm gonna throw out because I don't know, the fact that I had any sort of irritation with that, I don't wanna contaminate anybody. So that will be chucked in the garbage, but this will live on until um, somebody has an allergic reaction to it. So the next one actually is this Makeup Revolution, the Dead Are Alive palette. So the reason why I picked up this palette is because it's 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 a Halloween palette. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay, I literally could it just could say fucking wolf balls on it, and I'd be like, yeah, I gotta have it. I don't know why that was the what first thing that popped balls? in my. I don't know. I just thought of like Wolfman's wolf Nards. Wolfman's got Nards. Wolfman's got Nards. Yeah. Cool. And if you know what that is, you're amazing. You get one bonus point. I saw this. I was like, ooh, it's Halloween. I have to have it. No. No. <laughs> the quality sucks. Which is really funny because it actually, this turned me off from Makeup Revolution as a whole to only find out that actually Makeup Revolution is pretty good. Not every palette, but most palettes though that I've tried as of late. So this is um, hot garb. So this is definitely um, going to be going to the donate pile. And it comes with this fun foam tip applicator. Ooh the same color as this and you can't see it. Oh, even better. Ooh. Spooky. All right, so this guy is Essence, my must-haves palette, and this is actually something that I got at, where the fuck did I get this? Beautycon, I think, in April? And one's supposed to be kind of a blush, uh, some sort of translucent setting powder, and two eyeshadows. Um, no. I like Essence's mascara, I think, the most. And the more that I'm trying different products, the more I realize Essence really isn't that great. <laughs> other than their mascara. And I really had high hopes for their eyeshadow, but I just don't like their eyeshadow quality. So this is gonna be going to the donate pile. 
So this guy, same thing, it's another Essence palette. Actually, this one wasn't bad. It's called the Happy Kawaii Eye Eyeshadow Palette. I take that back, what I just said about Essence. I said, oh, it's mostly shit. This actually wasn't as bad as the previous palettes. It's something that it's not super amazing. You really, really have to dig into the pans to get any sort of pigment. But when you do get it, it's, it's not that bad, but it's a little lackluster. Anyway, I have a bunch of these shades already in my current collection, so I don't really see the need of having this. You just got it because of the donuts. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, guys, I'm a fucking sucker for packaging, and the fact that there were donuts with a happy face on it really yeah, sold like, me. I was going to say, that's something that's, that's like you would buy instantly. <laughs> it doesn't even matter if it's good or not, and I think that's why I got excited about this collection, because I was like, oh my god, it's donuts! <laughs> I need to have it! And then I'm like, oh no, it's hot, hot garb, so... Not really that good. <laughs> Did I break you? <laughs> <laughs> <We're good. laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Bye. So the next palette is the NYX Water Palette, which let me just kind of show you what it looks like here. The interesting thing about this palette is, is that I wasn't initially going to pick it up. And then when I was at Generation Beauty, they had a NYX booth, not at this last Generation Beauty, the Generation Beauty before that. They had all of their Elements palettes, right? And I just got really carried away and was like, I need this palette to only realize that I never really gravitate towards it, even though I have been really obsessed with blues lately. There's something about this particular formula in this palette that uh, it's not my favorite. Actually, I'm finding that a lot of NYX eyeshadows in general are not that good. There's like maybe a couple of palettes that I think are really awesome and then the rest is just awful, especially for the price point because they charge so much money for such mediocre product. It, it doesn't make sense to me, but anyway. So this palette is very pretty and it's okay results. It's something that's just kind of collecting dust in my collection. So instead of letting it collect dust, I can have a new home somewhere. So anyway, it's not terrible, but it's not good, but it's not terrible. They're really selling it. <laughs> NYX, sponsor me. <laughs> It's not good, but it's not terrible. <laughs> so the next one is the Kristen Leanne Urban Decay palette. As you can see, this is like a little basic neutral bitch. You know, the only reason why I picked up that palette is because it was $12. <laughs> that was the only reason why. That's a terrible reason. I know! <laughs> I have a problem! I'm telling you, I know. All right, anyway, so I picked up this palette. I love the Kaleidoscope palette, which is her original palette. That's awesome. And there's also a really, really good mustard shade, which I will link right here somewhere if I could. Yeah, here, I'll link it right here. That's probably one of my favorite yellows, is that Urban Decay one. <laughs> this, it's it's okay, but I just don't understand it. Like, it's just so fucking basic. And especially for Kristen Leanne, who just seems like, you know, mm, so cool, so colorful. I just didn't understand why she released this, but then again, maybe that's her aesthetic. So this palette, not my favorite, but the Kaleidoscope one, fucking awesome. But um, yeah, fuck this palette. Anyway, so it's probably gonna go to a, a nice new home. And again, I feel like this is like a constant theme with Urban Decay in general. It's just like Urban Decay used to be so fucking good and I don't know what happened to them. Yet they're still charging those really high prices, which to me is really funny because their products are not that good. You pay for the name. This guy. This can go fuck itself. Did anyone like this one? No, this, everybody fucking hated it. And someone recommended to me like, oh, hey, maybe using like the pink as a blush or something like that. But no, every time I see this palette, I get really upset. I get really upset at, at my own personal choices. <laughs> this is gonna get chucked at the neighbors. Okay, cool. This one, and it has sh um, a pretty sharp edge, so hopefully we can, you know, we can them lose in the corner. Eye. Yep. And then the inside explodes on them. Oh my god, they could look like one of the little it twin some, stars. Make some buttery. <laughs> These are not buttery. They're not buttery. All right, calm down. Thank you. <laughs> Here's another Urban Decay product. I have the Urban Decay uh, Naked Smoky. So I did like a decluttering, I wanna say in middle of this year, and I held on to this because I was like, oh, I'm totally gonna use it. And then I never touched it, so it, it's time to go. Again, I sold the brush because I'm a piece of shit. I but say, this one comes with another invisible brush. Listen, I'm a piece of shit and I totally recognize that. So I'm taking all the brushes out of these fucking well, packages. You paid for it, so. Yeah. And I mean, seriously, people can buy their own fucking brushes unless I'm donating them, then I feel bad. <laughs> people have their fucking fingers. I don't give a shit. Whatever, I spent my money on this. I'm taking something from this fucking palette because this palette took a piece of my fucking soul. This palette sucks. This was awful. And it's always on sale. But it's really sick packaging now. Like, it's really pretty. It's packaging and then... It's That's it. Hot shit. Hot shit. 
hot shit, hate it. So the next palette is the ColourPop Take Me Home palette. I like this palette. This this was a, a pretty good palette, but again, it's just colors that I already have in my collection and I don't really gravitate towards them. This I'm gonna clean up and it's going to find a, a new home, but I do like ColourPop, so I actually kind of feel a little sad that I'm getting rid of this one, but it only costs 10 bucks, so I'm not too upset about it. This is cute though. All right, so the next palette is this chart palette, which is called, I just said the name of it too, Happy, Happy Girls Shine, Shine Brighter, Bright. the double duty palette. Oh my God. Okay. I don't like this one. Not at all. No. It's, it's just, it's just basic. It's a basic palette for a basic bitch and I'm not a basic bitch. You're an extra bitch. I'm an extra bitch. I'm not a basic bitch. Like I want color in my life. And I think when I got this palette, I was like, oh, <laughs> You're just like, oh? <laughs> this is $15. Like, I remember getting this on sale and, and being excited about it. And then when I got it, I was like, oh man, this is what did I do with my life? It's just, no, no. You heard it here, folks. It's, <laughs> nah. it's just, no. The next palette, I'm a little sad about this one, but I just really just don't gravitate towards this at all. And it's not because it's a bad palette. It's just, I just don't gravitate towards it. And it's the Carity Just Peachy palette. It's a very pretty palette. I like Carity in general. I think Carity actually has really awesome quality. I really love their original palette. I think they're like their 21 mattes palette, which is pretty much just like a really nice rainbow palette. I got this one because it was, I think one of their new palettes when it came out and it was fine, but it's just something I think I'm starting to kind of really see steer away from warm tone palettes. As you can see with the theme of today's collection, a lot of them are just pretty much warm tone palettes. It's just something that I already own and I don't need the same palette over and over again. So I'm going to find this guy a new home, but this is good. I really do like Carity as a brand. So yeah, I feel bad about that one because I really like them, but sorry, Carity. So I'm gonna do these two, which are two Smashbox palettes that I actually received last year. And it's this, what the fuck is this? Drawn in decked out cover shot palette. And this is the highlighter palette. The highlighter palette isn't bad. I don't really gravitate towards it too much. The eyeshadow, maybe it's just me, but I think Smashbox is overrated. And I don't think they're very good. Granted, I feel like people stopped talking about them now, but there was a period in time where just people just talked about them constantly. And I didn't understand why, because I don't think they're that good. I don't think the quality is that good. I think, I feel like all their eyeshadow is just chalky, messy, not pigmented, fucking bullshit. It's a lot of money for nothing. No. And all these little palettes, I think I like the, the artwork on the outside of the palette. That's it. I don't like anything about the inside of the palette. And I know a couple people tagged me into getting the cover shot palette with the yellow in it. And I was almost tempted to do it. And then I realized, no, Smashbox sucks. It sucks dick. I don't want it. That's why I didn't get it. So these can go fuck themselves and I will find a new home for them. They can go fuck themselves in their new home. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh... What is that double makeup? BH Cosmetics. A lot of people recommend this brand to me and I'm always tempted to get other things from this, but I did not like their foil eyeshadow palette. It was actually the only thing that I've ever picked up from this brand, but they were messy. And again, another brand that just had no pigment to it. And so I'm hoping that someone will love these because I did not, but it makes me apprehensive about trying anything else from BH Cosmetics. However, I've heard nothing but good things about their other palettes, but this one was a no for me and I don't want it to kind of continue to collect dust. So so this is going to seek a new home. Okay, so the next palette I wanna talk about is the Glam Metals from Crown Pro, which is this guy right here. You know, I got this in my BoxyCharm. If I didn't get this from my BoxyCharm, I don't think I would have ever picked it up. It's just something that just doesn't really interest me that much. The quality was meh, not really that great. I actually like the other Crown Brush palette that I received. I'm sorry, I keep saying Crown Brush, Crown Pro palette that I received in BoxyCharm a couple months ago, but that one came destroyed, unfortunately. Fortunately, I guess, did not come destroyed, <laughs> um, although I wish it did. <laughs> But this is something I don't gravitate towards and I am going to gift this to somebody and hope that they have a much better time with it. So, I'm sorry. I definitely do love crown brushes though. I think crown brushes are awesome, but makeup, not so much. So, sorry. Bye. That's a whole stack of them? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pure can go fuck themselves. I'm tired of receiving pure products from BoxyCharm and I say this for every BoxyCharm video that has a pure product in it. I don't like pure. I feel like I liked Pure at one point when it wasn't crammed down my fucking throat. And now every month I am fearful that I'm gonna receive a product from Pure Cosmetics and I don't want it. 
because it's fucking, can't help but to say it, but it's trash. And I know I'm trash, but I'm the good trash. This is the bad trash. These are all the things that I pretty much received, not all. There's two things that I didn't receive from BoxyCharm, but I picked them up because I got caught into the hype. And now I'm woke and I see, I know, I'm so sorry that I said God, why? Oh, Jesus, it's 2019, <laughs> leave those in 2018 where they belong. I'm woke. The aliens have said no, there will be no pure in 2019. I don't wanna see another pure product for the rest of my fucking life. So these are the things that I am decluttering. One is the bronze and brighten. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this Neapolitan dream. Then it's the pure sculpture kit, which, you know, this wasn't terrible, but they were way too dark for me, which is fine. You know, whatever. I'm okay with that, considering there are not a lot of options for people who have deeper skin. I really do hope to find this a good home for somebody that can use it. And I feel really bad because I just trash the shit out of this brand. <laughs> the Soiree Diaries. So this one is definitely going to find a new home and it's another warm tone palette. So it's like, meh, I don't want it. This one wasn't really that good. And that is the BoxyCharm Pure Palette. I think when I did use it for my first time, it wasn't as terrible, but the more that I used it, the more I realized this is hot garbage. So this is definitely going to find a new home. The only cool color I think was the pop of blue. Not good enough for me to want to keep it. The next one is the Trolls Palette. I don't even know why it picked why us up. This? I don't know. So here's the Trolls Palette. I really tried to like this palette, but it's just not good. The quality's not good. It's pretty awful. Not a fan of it, so no. And then Pure Pro, which I find really funny because I don't consider Pure ever professional at all. Like, it's like kids makeup. <laughs> it's like an asshole. I really I do. Like honest. an elitist this bitch. This is my favorite one. And they just start crying. <laughs> I don't know who ETN is. I think ETN is a makeup artist, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, I was in Ulta one day. I saw this. And for whatever reason, I was like, I need to have this. But I found that the colors were, you know, they were just, it looks pretty much the same. <laughs> like, I feel like a lot of the Pure palettes, for the most part, just look the same. They have a lot of the same colors. Anyway, so... It served its purpose for a little bit until I found better makeup. So then I stopped using it. So that's definitely going away. So this is the Narcissist. This is a cheek palette. So it's just cheek palette? Mm hmm Original. So basically it's just like a contour and a bunch of blush shades in here. I picked this up at Ulta. It was on sale because I was like, oh my God, I need to have NARS products. And then I realized this is not for me. I think all I really wanted was that orgasm shade. And I thought I was, you know, fooling myself and thinking that I didn't need that blush and I could just get away with this and I do not like it. Not that the quality is not good, it's just the colors, they're not my colors at all. I don't know whose colors these are, but they are not for fucking me. So this is going to be donated. So the next one is from e.l.f. and it's a bronzer palette. I think I received this in a Target beauty box and I just forgot about it. So... I'm really good at that. Where it. I'll fucking Great. just buy stuff and then just forget about it because, you know, apparently I have money to burn. That's where this one is. So this is pretty much brand new. Not gonna touch it further. Gonna let it be. I can't really speak to the quality of, of that, but I have enough bronzers in my collections and contours that I don't really see the need of having another thing that I may or may not use. So I figured this can find a new home. Okay, so this is an e.l.f. blush and bronzer palette. Again, I think when I picked it up, I just seemed really excited about it. I was in a Target, which I fucking hate Target's lighting because Target's lighting, it's actually not that bad. So you think like, oh, okay, this can work for you. And then you go home with it and you're like, no. But I think this is just way too dark in general, both these tones. Sorry. The next is a Cover FX Perfect Highlighting Palette, which I'm so sorry that my fingerprints are all over. Cover FX is another brand that I feel like is really, really cool. And then you start using their products and then you're like, oh. They weren't memorable. None of the highlighters in that palette were memorable. So sayonara. The next one is actually kind of beat up, so I don't know if I'll be able to kind of save this or not, but it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, like to medium. So as you can see, one shade is kind of a little fucked up. I might actually just remove the shades and kind of keep the rest of them. I got this around the same time that I got my Kat Von D light and shade, con whatever, the contour palette. And I just gravitate more towards the Kat Von D one because I think it's more for cool tone and it works for my skin tone. This one is more on the warmer side. I'll pop the shade out and kind of take the rest of them and see if, if any of my friends can use them. If not, then this will be donated as well. 
last but not least is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. No mirror, what a rip off. I know, right? And the reason why I'm getting rid of this one is that like, I don't gravitate towards this. I think that if I was in my 20s and I was thin and I wanted to be a unicorn and I wanted to do Molly at like some EDM concerts, then I would be like, yes, I would wear, follow me. I would want this palette all over my body and I could be like a fucking unicorn being. I don't know where I was going with that. That, <laughs> with your a, face. that was a very specific. <laughs> it's my fantasy. No, it's not. God, no. I hate it. Did I spit on you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Very specific and spitting at me. Is that part of the dream too? Oh my God, Unicorn that no spits idea. in people's mouths. Bend over. So anyway, the point is, is that these colors are just too out there for me, and I'm I'm just crazy. Thankfully, I didn't pay full price for this guy. I uh, I think I got it like 40% off or whatever during some fucking sale. Anyway, so I'm definitely going to be giving this palette away because I just I don't have any use for it. Yeah, it was like my rainbow bright fantasy. Just not in that much shape that I want to do it. So get out of breath fast. I can't, can't be a unicorn. You could be a sleeping unicorn. I mean, I could be. So you're saying I should keep it? No. Okay, so I'm actually going to be giving away both of these highlighters. One is the <laughs> Jeffree Star Manny MUA <laughs> highlighter, which is called Eclipse. This I did not like. I don't think the quality of it was was very good at all. It was very gritty. And then um, I'm sorry to say, but I'm giving up Regina George because, guys, I'm just not going to fucking use it. And um, my friend wanted it, so I'm going to give it to her. It will have a much better home than sitting in the back of my collection to die. This, if anything, taught me a valuable lesson on not to get any Jeffree free star mystery boxes ever again or any uh, see you're still gonna aren't you no i got one you <laughs> i got the beautylish bag which by the way guys i got the beautylish mystery bag and i got the 80 dollar or 75 dollar bag i don't know whatever i got the cheapest one because i wanted to get the more expensive one remember i consulted it with you and i was like hey which one i should get and you were like none and i'm like no but which one should i get <laughs> and you're like none again i'm like you're wasting my time four minutes later the big bag sold out and i was like fucking alex you yeah, blame me yeah I am. Okay. Anyway, so both of these are, <laughs> ah, both of these are going. So, um, yeah, not a fan. Sorry, Jeffrey. These are two little uh, trios from Smashbox. This is kind of their, the fuck is this? I don't even know. This one was actually cute because I like that it looks like a camera lens. It's just, you know, too bad it's, uh, not good. Smashbox. I don't think Smashbox quality is all that good. I don't think I'll be purchasing any Smashbox eyeshadows in the future. These can go fuck themselves. The next ones are these infallible paints, which these are actually good. I, I really like these a lot. I don't really go for single eyeshadows as much as I used to. I think because either I have them in palettes or I have them like popped out in a magnetic palette. I honestly kind of forget about these guys, but for drugstore, I think they're really good quality and I'm a little sad to see them go, but honestly, they're going to go to a better home because it doesn't make sense to leave them in my collection to die if I'm never going to use them. But other than that, like these are really awesome. I am a fan of this L'Oreal eyeshadow quality, so sorry. So the next is like this little L'Oreal. Did I even open this? Oh shit. <laughs> you definitely did not. That is plastic covering it. Oh, <laughs> okay. I just opened it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> this one didn't even use, and I was going to use it for my all blue video, I think with Chelsea, and then I couldn't find it. And then I got the Huda Beauty Obsessions one or whatever, so it kind of worked out. But anyway, can't speak to the quality of this, and I just opened it, so. <laughs> Ruined it. <laughs> this will seek a new home. So these little guys are little MAC singles, again, for the, the same reason as the L'Oreal singles. I don't gravitate towards these. They kind of just like fall at the bottom of my collection because they're like these tiny little singles. I'm sure I could pop them out, but the quality is okay for me. They're not amazing. And I think I have better stuff in my collection. And again, like how many fucking browns do I possibly need? So these are definitely getting decluttered. Sorry, MAC. All right, so the next one I want to talk about is the Catrice Liquid Metal Eyeshadow. This one is actually sealed, so I'm not going to be an asshole and open it like I did the other one. <laughs> but again, for the same reason as I'm decluttering the other little singles, it's just they're hard to pop out. They're going to live in this case, and I forget about them every time. So I figured, you know what? This can have a new home somewhere else. The Catrice Liquid Metal ones are, are I would say, on par with the L'Oreal Unfallible Paints. I actually believe I think these are like $5 cheaper, so you will not be disappointed if you pick these up. They're awesome. Totally recommend them. They're really good. But sorry, guy. So the next thing that I want to talk about is this Lorac Superstar Trio. It's a starry-eyed baked eyeshadow trio. And it looks like this. 
You know, Lorac is another one that I really do like, but at the same time, I, I kind of forget about this brand, which is really sad because I think they do have really good quality. But this little trio, you know, it did serve its purpose when I use it a lot a while back unfortunately <laughs> but it's been some time i haven't really touched it in a while and i figured you know instead of it dying in my collection this can go to a new home so this is actually pretty good i really like this a lot it's a catrice contour and highlighting stick and this actually is not opened and i purchased two of these i think because it was just like buy one get one free and i really liked the one that i purchased and and I used it and then I kind of stopped fucking with cream contours so I wind up actually having to throw that one out and I never opened this guy this will have a good home to somebody somewhere out there and I, I really did like this a lot actually so the next one is actually this thing called studio makeup and it's a loose blush did I open this no I didn't <laughs> go me I'm just not gonna fuck with it I feel like loose blush is just going to be incredibly messy yeah I ain't about being messy. I never opened this up, so I can't speak to if it's good or not. I don't know anything about studio makeup. I think I probably received this from a boxy charm or a fucking some sort of subscription box, and it just kind of lived in my collection for a little bit. But anyway, someone someone will make use of this, and it'll be good. It'll be great. I believe in it, don't you? So the next one is this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Illuminati powder, and I think this is. I never did. I open this one. I think I did. Did I open this? No, I don't think I did actually. Nope, I did. It's definitely on your hands now. And I'm pretty sure people are going to be mad at me giving this away. I don't know why, I just have a feeling. I don't want it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I don't That's want all it. all the reason you need. It really is. The next is this little butter blush. Uh, I like the butter bronzer, and I actually like the butter highlighter, but the butter blush, they're okay. I think I actually might throw it out, only because it probably has an expiration date that has since passed, so I think this might be going into the garbage, but yeah, maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. To be continued. You say gravitate towards it a lot. Do I? Yeah. You'll notice when you're it. If you stop saying it now, you won't want to stab someone later as much. I don't gravitate towards a lot, though. I know. Hey, don't don't feel bad about it. It's fine. You make me feel bad about my choices and words. I'm just saying. My makeup. I know when you're editing, you're gonna be like, I don't gravitate towards it, and you're just gonna be like, I fucking hate it. Why didn't you say something? And you'd be mad at me. Yeah, probably you're right. It's another Elf product, and it is a big highlighter and blush. Oh, God damn it! What the fuck is with these fucking packages? Anyway, this is what it looks like. I need to go home. I know, I'm already home. I realize that, okay? Anyway, this is something that I don't... <laughs> Say it. Gravitate <laughs> towards... You motherfucker! Alright, listen, I don't gravitate towards this, okay? This little ice cream dream I don't really gravitate towards. Uh, not to say it's a bad product or anything like that, but I just don't. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't. This will find a better home with somebody else, so. The next one is this Bomb the Frat Boy. Um, I think you're calling it bomb. <laughs> and I was like, ugh. <laughs> no. And the only reason why I'm giving this up is because I have another one of these. So whatever, share the wealth, right? This one I, I do like. I like the Bomb's uh, blushes and I really like their packaging. I figured why not kind of give this away. It's a very pretty color. Very nice. I did not swatch this one or touch this one. So this will be going to the donate pile. So that one you gravitate towards. That's what I gravitate towards, you motherfucker. The next one is this Desert Rose, the Note blush. And this is actually something that was in the BoxyCharm. Again, I think I used it and I look like Annabelle. And I tried to make it work since then, but the blush is just, yeah, it's just it's fucking way too bright for me. I, ca I can't wear it. This will find a new home too. As you can see, I didn't really touch it too much, though you still see the Note emblem in it. But, um, I, you know, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind this brand. It was actually the first product I ever tried from this brand. Just the color was off, so. Oh, well. So the next thing is this uh, Cover FX Milky Semen Custom Enhancer Drops. Cover FX is one of those brands that you're like, oh my god, this is so fucking cool. I feel so cool having these products. And then you're like, these are just not practical. Well, for me anyway. So there's probably a bunch of people that will disagree with me. I'm sure of it, but this is my video, so you can go fuck yourself. This, I did not like. I'm not a fan of this milky semen thing. Meh, I'm not a fan. So this will def be definitely going into the donate pile. So again, in staying with the theme of cover effects, this is the Illuminating Setting Spray, and I believe I received this in a boxy charm or some fucking box, or did I buy this? I don't remember. Anyway, the reason why I'm getting rid of it is because it's basically just a, a sparkle blast on your face. So instead of like being a normal setting spray, you basically look like that fucking vampire kid from Twilight. From the, from the, vampire, the vampire kid from the movie film. From the movie pictures. Basically, you look like that fucking kid, okay? You look like... 
whatever his name is. I don't like it, not a fan of it. So hopefully, you know, this can find a nice home with somebody that wants to look like a sparkly fucking vampire, but this ain't for me, I'm too old. So the next is this Catrice Prime and Fine Nude Glow Primer. I actually like Catrice primers a lot, but I think I'm just in the phase that I'm stuck with Tatcha, that I don't want to use anything else. And so instead of this sitting in my collection to die, which as you can see is new, uh huh, I did not use it. And anyway, instead of it sitting in my collection to die, I can definitely kind of give this away to somebody, but this is definitely a fine primer. I really do like it, so. It says fine prime. Cause it is a I fine prime. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. The next one is this Tardius Pro Glow Highlighter something or other and Exposed. <laughs> um, oh, actually, no, I'm going to toss this out because I used it. Garbage bag, garbage. This one actually is this guy and it's a liquid highlighter from Becca Cosmetics, which I think I'm going to get rid of because it probably has a six month expiration date on it as well. But I believe this is in the shade Opal. You know, I like the actual like physical highlighter, the, the solid highlighter, the, the compact one. This one, eh, meh, not really a big fucking liquid highlighter person. So uh, I don't know why I even own this or if maybe this was given to, I don't know, maybe, unless maybe someone gave this to me. I don't know, fuck it, doesn't matter. It's going away, so bye, bye. All right, last but not least, I have a lot of glitter that is unopened <laughs> and uh, some of it is actually from NYX little glitter guys and then I have some loose pigment from Wet n Wild and I think it was from like the Gothographic collection and these scared me and I didn't use them very much and then these I don't think I actually think I opened this one and it was a complete fucking mess and it made me hate glitter and so therefore this one is not open I think I was gonna try to do a video with this but it just did not pan out to the way that I wanted to so I scrapped it but yeah but these guys these are loose pigments did not open them I don't really know too much about them so yeah but anyway they'll find a new home um someone wants to be a, a fucking glittery unicorn so be it